Hey guys, so I pretty much installed a battery heater into this 2020 Model 3 because it doesn't have a heat pump. And not only that, it is actually a lot more efficient than the inverter that's on there right now. So pretty much this battery heater has been helping me increase my range during the time I'm driving in the Chicagoland area. When it is below zero degrees, you're getting temperatures in this garage around 26 degrees to maybe 40. Um, I do not have a uh, way to heat up this garage, so it does eventually uh, affect the battery pack of this car. So during the time I'm charging, I have this heat pump running. Um, it's pretty much a circulation tank here that goes through the coolant um, from uh, the pump all the way through the battery pack itself. But it, it's going from the manifold straight to the battery heater and then into the battery, which pretty much increases the temperature. So that is really helping me increase my range. Um, I'm getting anywhere from 30 to 50% less range in the winters. So coming out of the garage with a battery temperature at around 64 degrees, it is pretty much pulling out of the garage as if it was fall, maybe summer. Um, so it, it, it's been a huge uh, help in that aspect. Uh, I've also realized that it is helping me increase my charging speeds to much faster levels. Um, I pretty much charge this battery at 240 at 5 amps, so it could pretty much charge throughout the entire night that I'm sleeping. So that way, right as I pull out of the garage, the battery is still at a very high temperature, which I'm talking about maybe like 64 degrees. Um, it is rated between 60 to 80 degrees. Um, the coolant within the area of where the battery heater, uh, once, it, once that area hits 80 degrees, it tends to shut off. But since the battery is about a thousand pounds in weight, it, it takes a lot to truly get this battery pack to uh, 80 degrees. Um, on another video, I will discuss with you guys um, the Tesla diagnostic system that I use to, to monitor um, the temperatures. And it's, pretty, it's actually really cool because you pull it up on an app on your phone and you could see the incremental changes in temperature for this Model 3. I also realized improved performance on this car. And what that means is I'm actually getting better regenerative braking. When it gets to below 32 degrees in Fahrenheit to almost zero, it will truly affect your regenerative braking. Um, I do my best to pretty much slow down this car with regenerative braking to increase the lifespan of my brakes. If I have to use brakes, I will. But coming out of a house with a battery pack at 64 degrees, and regenerative braking is pretty much all there. Um, where one time my garage was at 26 degrees, I had no regenerative braking, so I had to use my brakes. So another thing that I wanted to mention is pulling energy from a cold battery to be able to warm the battery pack up, it, it takes a ton of energy to do that. So the inverter on this car actually runs at seven kilowatts of power. The battery heater that I currently have on it is 1.5 kilowatts at a 120 volt outlet. Eventually, I will pretty much transfer that cable to the bottom side of the car so I could have a flange uh, outlet with a, uh, a flap on it to uh, reduce any um, dirt from going into it, but that will be on the bottom side of the car so I will not have to have the hood constantly open like this. The uh, battery life cycles that you are actually reducing, these cars do have a specific amount of battery cycles they go through before the battery dies or the cells go out of balance and you have to replace it. Just like your phone, after about one to two years, your battery starts to die faster and it's just not, it's not able to keep up the way it was intended when you first got the battery. I hope this kind of gives you guys a better understanding on why I installed a battery heater on this car. This is just a way to help increase the life of this car, especially for the battery pack and it reduces a ton of strain if you guys liked this type of material, please let me know. Please subscribe. It would help out the channel a lot. And hopefully I'll be able to post more content like this for you guys. Thanks.